Hi students, welcome back. So let me continue with this single row function. So uh, today I am explaining about a numeric functions. A numeric functions are absolute, sine, and cosine. So what is the use of the absolute function and the sine function and cosine function? Let us see. First, I am taking the absolute. Absolute is used to return the absolute values. Suppose if I take a b s is a uh, syntax the function name absolute minus 8 from GL. So, whenever you mention minus 8, it is just written absolute value of minus 8. The absolute value of minus 8 is 8 only. Let me take another example. Select student number. Okay. Absolute, absolute from STD. So it's just written the absolute number in the student number. Actually, what your uh, what are the fields that are present in the student table? So the fields in the student table was uh, Bhanu. Arun Priya, so the student numbers was 1, 2, 3. So, here I place select student number, the absolute numbers of student number. So, here the absolute is only 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, this is use of absolute function. Let me explain the second function that is a sign. The sign function returns a sign value. You know the mathematical uh, symbols is a sign, cosine, tan, theta, so like that. So, select sine of 45 from jewel so it just displays the sine character okay the sine of 45 let me apply this uh, sine function in my table so set sine of student number from student table okay so here by student number is having 1 2 3 so for that 1 2 3 uh, the sign values for 1 is 0.8414 and 2 is 0.909 and the uh, sign value for the 3 is 0.1411 like that now let us see the cosine the cosine it returns the cosine values just in place of sign place cos cos 60 from GL. So, it is the cos will uh, displace the negative value minus dot uh, something. It is just displays the negative value. Let me apply in our table select cos student number from student table. So, it prints all the negative values. So, for 1 it is positive and 2 it, pre it takes the negative and for 3 it is also negative. So, this is how you can use the sine and cosine values.